In this video, I've summed up my 10 takeaways and thoughts about this book, so you may have a more weighted opinion about the book. I highly recommend you to read the original book of the author. Disclaimer, this video does not infringe on the copyrights of the author of the book, as this video is based on fair use doctrine and explains my own opinion about the book and does not use any direct text from the book. Options Trading the Bible 4 in 1 is a comprehensive guide to options trading. Here are 10 main points from the book. 1. Options are financial instruments that give the buyer the right, but not the obligation, to buy or sell an underlying asset at a predetermined price and time. 2. Options can be used for speculation, hedging, or income generation. 3. The Greeks delta, gamma, theta, vega, and rho, are important metrics that traders use to measure an option's risk and potential profitability. 4. Options trading requires a solid understanding of market volatility and its impact on option prices. 5. Option trading strategies include buying and selling calls and puts, straddles, strangles, butterflies, and iron condors. 6. Options trading can be done using a variety of platforms, including online brokers and specialized trading software. 7. Risk management is critical in options trading, and traders must be willing to adjust their positions as market conditions change. 8. Successful options traders use a combination of technical and fundamental analysis to identify trading opportunities and make informed decisions. 9. Options trading requires discipline, patience, and emotional control, as well as a willingness to learn from mistakes. 10. Options trading can be a lucrative but risky endeavor, and traders should only risk capital they can afford to lose. Point 1 states that options are financial instruments that give the buyer the right, but not the obligation, to buy or sell an underlying asset at a predetermined price and time. This means that when you buy an option, you are buying the right to buy or sell the underlying asset, but you are not obligated to do so. For example, let's say you buy a call option on Apple stock. This gives you the right to buy Apple stock at a predetermined price, known as the strike price, at a predetermined time, known as the expiration date. If the stock price goes up, you can exercise your option and buy the stock at the strike price, which is lower than the current market price. If the stock price goes down, you can let the option expire and not buy the stock. Likewise, if you buy a put option on Apple stock, you have the right to sell the stock at the strike price at the expiration date. If the stock price goes down, you can exercise your option and sell the stock at the strike price, which is higher than the current market price. If the stock price goes up, you can let the option expire and not sell the stock. Overall, Options give traders the flexibility to profit from price movements in the underlying asset without having to actually buy or sell the asset itself. However, options trading can be complex, and it's important to have a solid understanding of the mechanics and risks involved. Point 2 states that options can be used for speculation, hedging, or income generation. Speculation refers to the practice of buying and selling options with the goal of making a profit from price movements in the underlying asset. For example, a trader might buy a call option on a stock that they think will increase in value with the hope of selling the option at a higher price later on. Hedging refers to the practice of using options to reduce the risk of losses in other investments. For example, a trader might buy a put option on a stock they already own as a way to protect against a potential price decline. If the stock price goes down, the put option will increase in value, offsetting some of the losses on the stock. Income generation refers to the practice of selling options to generate a regular stream of income. For example, a trader might sell covered call options on a stock they own, collecting a premium from the buyer in exchange for the right to buy the stock at a higher price in the future. Overall, options can be used for a variety of purposes, depending on a trader's goals and risk tolerance. However, it's important to remember that options trading is not suitable for everyone and traders should carefully consider their objectives and risk tolerance before getting involved in this complex and risky financial activity. Point 3 states that the Greeks, Delta, 
gamma, theta, vega, and rho are important metrics that traders use to measure an option's risk and potential profitability. The Greeks are a set of mathematical calculations used to measure the sensitivity of option prices to changes in various factors, such as the underlying asset price, time to expiration, and implied volatility. Delta measures the sensitivity of an option's price to changes in the underlying asset price. For example, a call option with a delta of 0.50 would increase in value by 50 cents for every $1 increase in the underlying stock price. Gamma measures the sensitivity of an option's delta to changes in the underlying asset price. Gamma is particularly important for traders using options to hedge other investments. Theta measures the sensitivity of an option's price to changes in time. As an option approaches expiration, its theta will increase, reflecting the fact that it has less time to generate a profit. Vega measures the sensitivity of an option's price to changes in implied volatility. Implied volatility is a measure of the market's expectation of how much an asset's price will change in the future. Higher implied volatility generally leads to higher option prices, and vice versa. Rho measures the sensitivity of an option's price to changes in interest rates. This is because changes in interest rates can affect the cost of borrowing money to finance investments, which in turn can impact the value of options. Overall, the Greeks provide traders with important information about the potential risks and rewards of different options trading strategies. Understanding the Greeks is an essential part of becoming a successful options trader. Point 4 states that options can be priced using different models, including the black Scholes model and the binomial model. The black Scholes model is a mathematical formula that is widely used to price European-style options, which are options that can only be exercised at the expiration date. The formula takes into account several factors, including the underlying asset price, the option strike price, the time to expiration, and the volatility of the underlying asset. The binomial model is a more flexible approach to option pricing that can be used to price both European-style and American-style options, which are options that can be exercised at any time before the expiration date. The binomial model uses a tree-like diagram to map out the possible price movements of the underlying asset over time and calculates the probability of each possible outcome. Both models have their strengths and weaknesses, and the choice of model depends on the specific characteristics of the option being priced. Traders should also be aware that option pricing models are based on assumptions about market behavior and may not accurately reflect actual market conditions. Overall, understanding the various option pricing models and their limitations is important for traders who want to make informed trading decisions based on the potential risks and rewards of different options. Point 5 states that traders can use options to implement a variety of trading strategies, including long calls, long puts, short calls, short puts, spreads, and straddles. A long call strategy involves buying a call option on a stock or other asset with the expectation that the asset's price will increase, allowing the trader to profit from the difference between the strike price and the market price. A long put strategy involves buying a put option on a stock or other asset with the expectation that the asset's price will decrease, allowing the trader to profit from the difference between the strike price and the market price. A short call strategy involves selling a call option on a stock or other asset with the expectation that the asset's price will remain below the strike price, allowing the trader to keep the premium received from the buyer. A short put strategy involves selling a put option on a stock or other asset with the expectation that the asset's price will remain above the strike price, allowing the trader to keep the premium received from the buyer. A spread strategy involves buying and selling options on the same underlying asset in order to reduce risk and limit potential losses. Common spread strategies include the bull call spread, bear put spread, and butterfly spread. A straddle strategy involves buying both a call option and a put option on the same underlying asset, with the expectation that the asset's price will move significantly in one direction or the other. 
This strategy can be used to profit from market volatility, but can also be risky if the asset's price does not move as expected. Overall, traders can use a variety of options trading strategies to achieve different goals, depending on their risk tolerance and market outlook. It's important to carefully consider the potential risks and rewards of each strategy before making any trades. Point 6 states that traders can use options to hedge their investments, reducing their exposure to risk and potential losses. Hedging involves taking on an offsetting position in the options market that is designed to reduce the risk of an existing investment. For example, an investor who owns a large position in a particular stock might buy put options on that stock as a hedge against a potential decline in the stock price. If the stock price does decline, the investor can exercise the put options and sell the stock at the higher strike price, effectively limiting their losses. Hedging can be particularly useful for investors who are concerned about potential market volatility or other risks. By using options to hedge their investments, investors can limit their exposure to potential losses while still maintaining their exposure to potential gains. Overall, Options trading can be an effective tool for hedging investments and reducing risk, but it's important to carefully consider the potential costs and benefits of any hedging strategy before making any trades. Hedging involves taking on additional risks and expenses, and may not always be appropriate for every investor. Point 7 states that traders can use options to generate income through selling options, also known as writing options. When traders write options, they sell the right to buy or sell an underlying asset at a certain price, known as the strike price, in exchange for a premium. If the option is not exercised, the trader keeps the premium as profit. For example, a trader might sell a call option on a stock that they own, allowing another investor to buy the stock at a higher price if the stock price increases. If the stock price remains below the strike price, the call option will not be exercised and the trader can keep the premium. Writing options can be a way for traders to generate income without taking on as much risk as buying options outright. However, it's important to be aware of the potential risks involved in selling options, which include the possibility of unlimited losses if the option is exercised and the underlying asset price moves against the trader. Overall, Selling options can be an effective way to generate income in the options market, but it's important to have a solid understanding of the risks and potential costs before engaging in any option writing strategies. Traders should also be aware that writing options requires a significant amount of capital, as they must be able to cover the potential losses if the option is exercised. Point 8 states that traders can use options to speculate on market movements, taking advantage of short-term opportunities to profit from price changes. Speculation involves taking on risk in order to potentially earn a profit, and options trading can offer a number of opportunities for speculators. For example, a trader might buy a call option on a stock that they believe is about to experience a significant increase in price, hoping to profit from the difference between the strike price and the market price. Alternatively, a trader might buy a put option on a stock that they believe is about to experience a significant decrease in price. Options can be particularly useful for speculators because they offer leverage, allowing traders to control a larger amount of assets with a smaller investment. However, it's important to remember that options trading is inherently risky and can result in significant losses if the trader's predictions are incorrect. Overall, Options trading can be a useful tool for speculators looking to profit from short-term market movements. However, it's important to have a solid understanding of the risks and potential costs involved in options trading before engaging in any speculative strategies. Traders should also be aware that options trading requires a significant amount of skill and knowledge and may not be appropriate for every investor. Point 9 states that traders can use options to take advantage of market inefficiencies and mispricings. Market inefficiencies occur when there is a discrepancy between the price of an asset and its intrinsic value. This can be caused by a variety of factors, including differences in information, trading volume, or market sentiment. 
Options trading can offer a number of opportunities for traders to take advantage of these inefficiencies and potentially earn a profit. For example, a trader might notice that a particular call option is priced lower than it should be based on the underlying asset price and other market factors. If they believe that the option is mispriced, they could buy the option in the hopes of profiting from the eventual correction of the pricing discrepancy. Options trading can be a particularly effective way to take advantage of market inefficiencies because options offer a high degree of flexibility and leverage. However, it's important to remember that options trading is inherently risky and can result in significant losses if the trader's predictions are incorrect. Overall, options trading can be a useful tool for taking advantage of market inefficiencies and mispricings. However, it's important to have a solid understanding of the risks and potential costs involved in options trading before engaging in any strategies that rely on market inefficiencies. Traders should also be aware that options trading requires a significant amount of skill and knowledge and may not be appropriate for every investor. Point 10 states that traders can use options to gain exposure to a wide range of assets and markets. Options trading allows traders to access a variety of underlying assets, including stocks, bonds, commodities, currencies, and more. This can provide traders with a great deal of flexibility and diversification, allowing them to tailor their trading strategies to their specific needs and preferences. For example, a trader might use options to gain exposure to a particular industry or market that they believe is likely to perform well in the near future. Alternatively, they might use options to hedge their investments in a particular asset class, reducing their overall risk exposure. Options trading can be a particularly useful tool for gaining exposure to assets and markets that might be difficult or expensive to access through traditional means. However, it's important to remember that options trading is inherently risky and can result in significant losses if the trader's predictions are incorrect. Overall, options trading can be a useful tool for gaining exposure to a wide range of assets and markets. However, it's important to have a solid understanding of the risks and potential costs involved in options trading before engaging in any trading strategies that involve multiple assets or markets. Traders should also be aware that options trading requires a significant amount of skill and knowledge and may not be appropriate for every investor. Thank you for your interest in this book. I would much appreciate it if you leave your feedback on this book in the comments below or just put a like on this video. It will help me stay motivated and make more videos like this. You can find links in the description of this video where you can purchase and download this book.